Hello, Girl Scouts of Greater South Texas. I hope you're ready for some more virtual fun. First things first, let's do the Girl Scout Promise and the Girl Scout Law. So you're going to raise your right hand, pinky goes down, thumb goes over your pinky, and we're going to do the Girl Scout Promise. If you don't know the promise, repeat after me, but if you do know it, definitely say it with me. On my honor, I will try to serve God and my country, to help people at all times, and to live by the Girl Scout law. Now we're going to do the Girl Scout law. And again, if you don't know it, repeat after me, but if you do know it, definitely say it with me. I will do my best to be honest and fair, friendly and helpful, considerate and caring, courageous and strong, and responsible for what I say and do. And to respect myself and others, respect authority, use resources wisely, make the world a better place, and be a sister to every Girl Scout. All right, girls, let's have some fun. The internet can be such an amazing resource and connection to the whole world, but you have to be careful. When you make decisions too quickly online, you might accidentally let a stranger into your life. This can happen when you click messages or links from people or businesses you don't know. Sometimes strangers will even try to get your private information online. And private information are facts about you that you don't want other people to know. For example, your home address or even the school that you go to. For today's activity, you're going to hear some amazing online offers. After I read and show you the headlines, I want you to think how interested you would be if you saw these same online advertisements. Then you're going to decide or click if you are interested or not at all interested. Are you ready? Let's get started. Poetry contests win up to $5,000. You could be a model, no experience necessary. Work from home for $75 an hour? Brand new smartphone for just $50? You won the lottery, just click here to claim your prize. Discount designer bags get all your favorite design brands for less. You just want a free vacation. Which of those online offers sounded interesting to you? Did you click on any of them? I'm going to tell you what happens when you click on any one of those advertisements. Did you click on the poetry contest? This is how that scam would have worked. You submit your poem to the poetry contest and although you didn't win the grand cash prize of $5,000, you receive an email saying that your poem is included in a book of all the other poem entries and you can purchase it for $49.95. And if you don't receive the book, that's a scam. But if you do receive the book, it might not be a very quality book. So that's how that scam gets you. It gets your poem and you wind up having to pay for your poem to be published. So it's not an, actually a really good offer. Did you click on the you could be a model offer? Well, this is how this scam would work. You would receive a message on social media or an email from a talent scout stating that you have what it takes to be a model. And all you have to do is pay a small studio fee. So you submit that fee and then you never hear from them again. So that offer actually just scammed you out of some money and you didn't get the modeling opportunity you thought you would. Working from home and getting paid $75 an hour sounds like a pretty good deal, right? Well, this is how this scam would have worked. While job searching, you receive an email saying you can work from home and they would pay you big money, but they ask for all of your information and your resume and a lot of personal information and you wind up giving it to them and then the job's not actually real and they steal money and account information from you. So even though it sounded like a really great deal, the job actually didn't exist. Did you click on the offer for a smartphone for only $50? That sounds amazing. But unfortunately, this is how this scam would have worked. You see the ad and you click for the smartphone and it's 
available for the fraction of the cost of a real phone. Um, so you send in your money, but you find out that the phone is just a cheap knockoff or even a stolen or locked phone. So you can't actually use it once you receive it. Wouldn't it be amazing to win the lottery? And this offer said that you did. So if you clicked this one, this is how this scam would have worked. You would have received the email saying that you won and all you had to do was put in your information or pay the taxes up front so you can receive your check in the mail, but maybe the check never arrives or when you do, it bounces so that money doesn't exist. So even though it sounded really amazing, you actually didn't win the lottery. Did you click on the discounted designer bags and getting your favorite brands for less? Unfortunately, this is how this scam would have worked. You find the website and you see all the fancy brands and you wind up trying to purchase one and when you receive the product, it's actually maybe a knockoff or even in worse shape or condition than they were advertising on the website. So that wasn't actually a good deal either. Did you click on your free vacation offer? Unfortunately, this is how this scam would have worked. You click on the ad and it tells you that you want a free three day vacation and you're all excited. And all it asks is that you pay a small fee, which isn't so bad considering it's a three day vacation. So you pay your small fee to save and reserve your free vacation, but then you never hear from the company again. And that's how they get your money without giving you your free vacation. <coughs> By being careful on what you click on, you're protecting your private information. If you're not sure, always ask an adult if you think that something that you see online isn't quite right. Never trust or answer any texts or emails or chats from people that you don't know and protect yourself when online. That's why cybersecurity is so important. We don't want our private information in the hands of somebody that would try to take something from us like our information, our money. Um, you have to be very careful when you're online. I hope you enjoyed this activity and learned how to keep yourself extra safe. So we'll see you next time for some more virtual fun.